Yo guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Crazy Course, and today I'm going to be doing a 5M server tutorial, a new one because everyone keeps saying, um, "Can you please update it?" and keeps asking me for help on the servers. So I'll give you an updated one, so you don't really need my help, and um, because there's lots of stuff new to the servers. Um, my last video is very outdated, so let's go ahead and Google 5M. Go to 5M.net and click on Download a Server. Okay, as you can see, the screen's a bit different from the last time. Um, you want to follow whichever one's yours. Uh, you've got Linux or you've got Windows, obviously. Um, I'm going to be doing Windows because it's more used. Um, you just need to follow these, really. It's pretty simple, but I will go through the Windows one um, to help you here. So make sure you've installed the newer version of C++ um, 2017. Here's a link. And you just download that, and there you go. Just go ahead and download that and it will go download to your computer or if you're using like a a web server or something just download it to the server and there you go. But obviously ask the owner for permission you don't want to just download stuff and it would be like what are you doing you know um, and then you want to create a folder for example fx server now you can make this anywhere but for this video and you probably want to follow what I do anyway because it makes it easier with no issues you just want to go straight to your local disk and you want to right click and create a server here in your local disk and um, just to make it easier if you make it on your desktop it might be harder to locate so let's go ahead and make it here let's name it fx server oh i've already got one oops i need to delete that uh yeah delete that um if you already have one you just want to remove it so let's go ahead and name it fx server now you want to name it the same as mine because if you name anything different it might break something and then you'll comment saying there's an issue and I'll be like oh what did you do? Someone's messaged me and that's what the issue was they named things wrong and they didn't change it in the code which is very stupid on their behalf <laughs> so um, after you've done that you want to download the latest master branch build for Windows click here go ahead and download the bottom one server.sip you want to download it using uh, WinRAR or any other SIP file. And you just want to let that download. Alright, so now it's downloaded, you want to go ahead and click this, grab it, or whatever way you do it. I'm on Firefox. So as you can see, it's here. Now, this is pretty simple. Go ahead and get your folder. Go ahead, back to this. Grab everything. And whip it over here. And boom. As soon as this is processed, there you go. It's not in the server. You don't even need this anymore. Just go ahead and delete that. And now we've got this. So let's go ahead and follow the rest. Um, so using any archives. Yeah, obviously I've just told you that. And then it says clone CFX server data in a, in a new folder other than FX server. Now, I don't think that really matters because if I just put it in FX server, it still works anyway. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, if, you don't, if you want to move it somewhere else, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put mine in server, in the actual server. So I'm going to move this over here. Boom. Inside of server, or FX server. Okay, and now I'm going to name this server-data. You want to name it the same as mine, server-data. You don't want to name it anything else, or it might, might cause an issue. Um, so yeah. So the next step is to make a server CFG in your server data folder. You need to copy an example of CFG file below. Um, where? Oh, this is uh, all the code. So if you want to go ahead and open this, right click, make a new text document, and name the server .cfg. Now, if yours doesn't change like mine didn't, you want to just go ahead and delete that. You want to go down here, open up Notepad. And then you want to just save it as... Save. Save as. Save it somewhere to your like your desktop. Name it server.cfg. Change your file type to all types. And then save. And now that will be done, and all you need to do is grab that from your desktop. Uh, where is it? 
here it is. You want to grab that and move it onto your folder, like that. And there you go. Now you want to open edit, and then you want to grab this code from uh, from the website, and then you want to paste it into here, like that. And now this is basically your setup for your server. So your server underscore host name, you want to change that to something like I'm gonna name mine Crazy Cores Test Server. You can name it anything you want. Um, you've got an icon if you want to remove that hashtag, and then the icon will work. And um, the hashtag basically means it's it's like disabled. You can't use that. And um, so if any of these you want to change, just remove the hashtag. It's easy as that. Um, Obviously, you don't want to move these. These are just comments, basically telling you how things work. Um. So yeah, now I'm going to show you the next part. So you want to go ahead and save that. Go back to here. Go back to your FX server. All right, guys. So you want to go ahead and copy this run f run function, paste it, change this to server run. Right click that. Edit with Notepad, and remove all the code in there. And then you want to type in this new code as cd, oh, cd, not cs, slash d, c, this. Now, you want to find out where your, um, where your folder is located. So we want to click here, and you'll see c slash sf, c, colon, slash fx server, backslash, by the way. And then you want to just copy that and paste it here. And then you want to also copy this backslash if you don't know how to do it on the keyword, which I don't because my keyword's American and I'm not American. <laughs> and then you want to type in server dash data. Now you've got that, you want to go down here and do C slash backslash FX server backslash again run dot CMD plus EXEC server dot CFG. So basically, what that's doing is this is running. Um, oh, where is it? This here is running the run, and then it's telling it to open server.cfg. If you didn't do that, it wouldn't know what to open, and it would just start the server without CFG, and that would obviously not work properly. So that's what that's doing. You want to have that right. Um, if you've if you change the name of server dash data, just change it here. Um, Obviously, that, that's basically how that works. So now that that's done, obviously you want to set up your license key. Um, so let's go ahead and do that next. So to start up the license key, you want to go to here and generate a license code from Keymaster5M. Register from an account. So you want to go ahead and open up that. You want to sign in. As you can see, I've got three keys here. and These are going to be blanked out so you can't actually see the IPs or anything because these are private servers. Um, but if you want to make your own, just go ahead and click New. And I'll bring it to here. Now, for the label, name is whatever. I'm going to name mine Crazy Cores Test. Oh. Test. And then you want to get the server IP address, which you'll just need to look up. What's my, or my IP? Google that, and it'll give you your IP. Um, mine's right here. I'm going to blank it out again. But if it does show up in just like random letters or something like that, you can go ahead and type in what or what's my IP, or no, I think it's IP Kai. IP Kai. If you search up IP Kai, uh, it'll bring you to this website here, and you should get your IP there, uh, and it should not show up in like random letters, but that's how you get that. Go ahead and paste it here, and they want to pick a server type, which is home home hosted. Well, for me, it will be home hosted. You pick whatever yours is. Then go ahead and do the I'm not a robot verification. And then generate. Now that you generated, it'll give you a little code here. You want to copy that. This is the key. And you want to bring it over to here. And you want to paste the key right there. Now remember to put little um, quotation marks over it, or it won't work. And then go ahead and save that. Now if you come back out, and go to your server run and open that. Go ahead and allow access. Boom, the server's up and running. So that's how you make a, a server. Let's go ahead and open up the actual game here. I'll be right back.
Alright, so I'm just loading in the 5M here now. It's taking its time to load up. Um, now, if you want to get your friends to join the server, you'll need to give them your IP and they will have to direct connect. If it does not allow them to direct connect, you'll probably need to um, port forward your uh, internet. I'm not sure if you actually need to do that because I, I haven't done it. Um, so I'm not sure if they need to do it in the in the newer version of the server. Hopefully not, but if you do, you can just go you can just like look up how to port forward a 5M server and it'll pretty much show you how to do it pretty easy. Um so let's go ahead and direct connect. Now you'll want to give you'll want to give your friends your IP to connect. Because if you use your IP um it will not allow you to connect for some reason. So all you need to do is connect via local host. So you need to type in local host and your server should show up fine like mine did test server go ahead and connect and boom oh see if it ever shows up saying connection field couldn't load uh, resource manager that's a pretty simple fix just go ahead and type in restart session manager and then try connect again and it should work fine let's see okay mine just kind of froze there so I'm going to start up the server again and then join I'll show you that it does work <laughs> So let's go ahead and open it up here. Direct connect. This is a local IP by the way, 127.0.0.1. That's just local host basically, that's what that means. So go ahead and connect. Obtaining Steam ticket. Is that a bad thing? Do I need my Steam open? It wants me to verify my email. Well, right. Anyway, that's how you do make a server. That should work. It's just not working my end because it keeps wanting to get my Steam ticket, but can't get my Steam ticket because I think it needs to update my email address. Is what it's saying. Um. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you start up a a five M server. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a big fat thumbs up on it as well as hit that red subscribe button with the bell notification thingy on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And if you have any issues, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.